I feel nauseous, believe me. What's up, everyone? You already know what it is. On God, let's be real for a second. Times are tough right now. Inflation is still biting. And the economy? Well, it's a roller coaster we're all strapped into. No cap. But here's the good news. My G, you're not powerless. No matter what the financial news headlines scream, the best way to take control is to manage your own money like a boss. And that's what we're diving into today. We're talking about the five smartest money moves you should make every single payday. These are the moves that'll help you build a solid financial foundation, weather any economic storm, and come out on top. Let's talk about the D word, debt. It's a word that can send shivers down your spine and make your heart race. Debt is something that many of us have to deal with at some point in our lives, and it can feel like a heavy burden weighing us down. It's the unwelcome guest at the financial party, the one that just won't leave and keeps draining your bank account. Every time you think you're making progress, it seems to find a way to pull you back down. If you're serious about getting your finances in tip-top shape, tackling your debt should be at the very top of your list. It's not just about paying off what you owe, it's about taking control of your financial future and setting yourself up for success. And not all debt is created equal. There are different types of debt, each with its own set of challenges and interest rates. Understanding the nature of your debt is crucial in developing a strategy to pay it off effectively. High interest debt, like credit card debt, is the worst offender. It's the kind of debt that can spiral out of control if not managed properly. Those interest rates can be absolutely brutal, eating away at your hard-earned money faster than you can say finance charge. It's like trying to fill a bucket with a hole in it. So prioritize paying down high interest debt first. This will help you save money in the long run and reduce the overall amount you owe. One popular strategy is the snowball method, where you focus on paying off your smallest debt first for a quick win, then roll that payment amount into the next smallest debt and so on gaining momentum as you go. This method can be incredibly motivating because you see progress quickly. Another option is the avalanche method, where you prioritize paying off the debt with the highest interest rate first, regardless of the balance. This approach can save you the most money on interest over time. Even though it might take longer to see those initial wins, this approach saves you the most money on interest in the long run. By focusing on the highest interest rates, you reduce the amount of money that goes towards interest payments, allowing you to pay off your debt faster. Whichever method you choose, the key is to be consistent and stay committed to crushing that debt. It's not going to be easy and it won't happen overnight, but with determination and a solid plan, you can achieve financial freedom. Remember, every small step you take brings you closer to a debt-free life. So stay focused, stay motivated, and keep pushing forward. You've got this. Retirement might seem like a lifetime away, but trust me, it sneaks up on you faster than you think. One day you're just starting your career, and the next you're thinking about how to make your savings last through your golden years. And the sooner you start investing, the more time your money has to grow. Think of it as planting a tree. The earlier you plant it, the more time it has to grow tall and strong. Remember the magic of compound interest? It's like a snowball rolling down a hill, gathering more snow and growing larger as it goes. And it's your best friend when it comes to building wealth over the long term. The longer your money is invested, the more it can benefit from this powerful financial principle. Now, when it comes to retirement accounts, you've got options. 401, Ks, IRAs, Roth IRAs, the list goes on. Each has its own set of rules, benefits and tax implications. Don't let all the jargon overwhelm you. Take the time to understand the basics and don't hesitate to seek advice from a financial advisor if you need it. The important thing is to choose an account that aligns with your financial situation and goals. Whether you're looking for tax advantages now or in the future, there's an option for you. If your employer offers a 401k match, contribute at least enough to get that free money. It's like getting a bonus, but for your future self. 
This is essentially free money that can significantly boost your retirement savings. And hey, even if you're just starting out and can only contribute a small amount, remember that every little bit counts. Small contributions can add up over time, especially with the help of compound interest. Time is your greatest asset when it comes to investing, so get started as early as possible. The earlier you start, the more time your investments have to grow and the more secure your financial future will be. So take that first step today and invest in your future self. Life is full of surprises, and unfortunately, not all of them are good. We all hope for the best, but sometimes things just don't go as planned. Your car could decide to take an unexpected vacation to the mechanic, leaving you stranded and stressed about the repair costs. Or you could get hit with a medical bill that makes your jaw drop, a sudden expense that you never saw coming. That's where an emergency fund comes in. It's your financial buffer, your safety net in times of crisis. An emergency fund is your financial safety net, the money you have set aside to cover those unexpected expenses without having to go into debt. It's like having a personal insurance policy that you control. The money you save in this fund is specifically for those unexpected expenses, helping you avoid the stress and burden of debt. Aim to have at least three to six months worth of living expenses saved up in a readily accessible account. This might seem like a lot, but it's crucial for your financial stability. I know, I know it seems like a daunting task, especially when you're also trying to save for retirement and pay down debt. But every little bit helps. Balancing saving for retirement, paying down debt and building an emergency fund can feel overwhelming. But it's all about taking small, consistent steps. But trust me, having that emergency fund will give you peace of mind knowing that you can handle whatever curveballs life throws your way. It's not just about the money. It's about the security and confidence it brings. Imagine the relief of knowing that you and your family are protected from financial surprises. You can focus on enjoying life rather than worrying about what might go wrong. Start small, set achievable goals, and gradually build your fund. Even if it takes time, every step forward is progress. Consider talking to a financial advisor to create a plan that works for you. They can provide personalized advice and strategies to help you reach your goals. Celebrate your milestones along the way. Each deposit into your emergency fund is a step towards financial freedom and security. With a well-funded emergency fund, you'll walk through life with more confidence, knowing you're prepared for whatever comes your way. There you have it, folks. Five smart money moves you can make every single payday. Remember, managing your finances isn't about being perfect. It's about being consistent. Even small steps, taken consistently over time, can lead to massive results. So, take action this payday. Start tracking your expenses, automate your savings, tackle that debt, invest in your future, and build that emergency fund. Your future self will thank you for it. And hey, if you found these tips helpful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment below letting me know what financial topics you'd like me to cover next. Until then, stay financially savvy, my friends.